Welcome to episode 1450 of the Multifamily Collective. Today, let's talk about skipping huge steps. And I want to do that in the context of AI and what AI is doing to industries across the board. We talk about multifamily here, but this technology is impacting every single week workflow in every single organization across the world, across the planet. And the one thing that that comes to mind for me as it relates to the impact that this will make, is making and will and will make in the multifamily space is skipping entire pieces of infrastructure. I read a story about places in sub-Saharan Africa, right? Places that are very hard to get to. You you can only get there by plane or you can only get there by uh, riding an animal. I mean, these places are very remote. Um, And the article was about how the world can serve these places and provide, be it food, water, uh, or places of shelter, or the ability, the parts and pieces to, to build homes and structures. And what the article talked about was the advent of technology, the advancement of technology, the rapid pace of innovation had allowed these little villages in sub-Saharan Africa, or it, it could be anywhere in the world that is hard to access because of drone technology. These particular places are completely foregoing building infrastructure, meaning roads and bridges and other things that would give access, easy access to these remote villages. Instead, you simply fly in drones to drop off goods and services, right? In the world of AI, think about it like this. There are competitors that will make their way into the multifamily space let's talk about property management companies, for example. There are property management company competitors that are being architected right now. And the technologies are being curated and bolted together. The the dots are being connected for property management companies of the future. Right now, someone in the world, someone in, in America is in a garage or in an office building, connecting all the dots, putting the right stack in place that will completely skip much of the traditional architecture that is in place today to include property management systems like Yardi or RealPage or MRI or ResMan or you name it. Any of those legacy property management systems that are put in place or those that have come to be in Trata's another app folio. And, and, and there's not a dig against any of those property management systems. It's just to use them as an example. There are property management companies today that are con- going to completely skip that architecture. They're going to skip that infrastructure because the technology is in place today to create an architecture that doesn't need that piece. It'll be a completely different piece built by the property management company that will manage property in the future. Or big property management companies that own a fair amount of property and or manage a fair amount of property uh, for third parties who are very innovative in nature are skipping that. They will skip that completely. They'll cut out huge swaths of cost in that creation of the architecture because they don't need the road. They don't need the bridge. They don't need this. They don't need that. They will create that and they will put that in place. And the second that that happens, and and it's happening, the second that happens, all of these other legacy property management companies are either going to get on board and mimic, or they're going to be purchased and put into that ecosystem, or they're just going to go, they're just going to go away completely because there'll be a better offering out there for party owners. So my encouragement to to everybody, if you're, if you're a frontline 
site team worker, learn how to use AI, learn how to get your workflow done in a more efficient and effective manner, make yourself valuable for the future, for the now, for the future. Or if you you are an operator of a property management company, figure out how to bolt those things together so that you are not reliant on the current day infrastructure, the current day roads, the current day bridges, the current day technologies, the current day SaaS, the current, all of it. All of it is subject to you now. All of it. That's no exaggeration. All of it is subject to you being disrupted. The intermediaries in, in our business, the intermediaries that put themselves between you and the good or the service or the architecture or the road or the bridge, the, giving you access, data or otherwise, that those days are quickly, quickly coming to an end. They're quickly coming to an end. And the ability to bolt together an architect and spot weld those pieces together is here. It's here. It's here right now. It's happening. And you, you, not to sound dramatic, but it, it is really one of those moments in time where you're either going to get on board or you're not. You get on board. It's going to be a wild ride. It's going to be a rocket ship. And there'll be a lot of mistakes made. There'll be a lot of advancement made at the same time. But those who choose not to get on board are just going to be left behind. It's it's that interesting right now. So that's it. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.